In this video, we're talking about finding arc length. We'll talk about what arc length is and how to find it using a formula. If we go back to our circle, an arc is simply a piece of the circumference of our circle. And the length of that arc is simply known as the arc length. It's a portion of the circumference, the total distance around the circle. We can also talk about this circle as we have before. This circle has a radius r. Again, the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside circumference. And we'll also call this arc length s. We can talk about a central angle theta that is formed by this arc length s. And there's a relationship between these three. That is, the length of the arc length s is equal to the length of the radius times that central angle. We can also say this in words as such. An arc length s subtends an angle theta measured in radians. This formula only works if your angle is in radians. This, this formula does not work if your angle is given in terms of degrees. You can either use this formula in the form s is equal to r times theta, Personally, I find it easier to remember this formula in terms of theta is equal to s over r. That is that angle measured in radians is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. And this is a formula I'm asking you to memorize. You will not be given this formula on an exam. Let's look at some examples. If I ask for the angle subtended by an arc length of 7 inches, given that the radius of a circle is 5 inches, how would we go about solving this? Well, we would remember our formula, theta is equal to s over r. And reading the problem, we can see the arc length s is equal to 7 inches, and the radius of the circle is 5 inches. So we simply put that into our formula, and come up with our angle of theta equaling 7 over 5. Remember, this is in radians. Just because there's no pi there doesn't mean this is degrees. 7 divided by 5 is our answer in radians. And I think this example really demonstrates why we talk about radians being a unitless measure. If theta is equal to 7 inches divided by 5 inches, we see that the inches reduce out, so radians are a unitless measure. You can think of this as radians in parentheses, but really we don't write anything for radians. Radians are unitless. If you do not see a degree symbol, it means we're talking in radians. So here's another example. Now we have an arc length of 135 centimeters. We're given our central angle of 120 degrees, but now we need to find the radius. Again, we'll use the same formula we did before, but now we know s and theta and we don't know r. Well, let's double check that. We've been given an angle in degrees, but we know this formula only works if the central angle is in radians. Well, so I guess we can't do this problem. Now, of course, that's not the right answer. What we'll need to do is convert 120 degrees into radians. Again, I want to use pi divided by 180 degrees because I want the degrees in the numerator to reduce with degrees in the denominator. And when I do that and simplify, I find that that angle theta is equal to 2 pi divided by 3. And now we can use the formula. When we plug in theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 and s equaling 135 with r still being our unknown, we can find that r is equal to 135 centimeters times 3 divided by 2 pi, or is approximately equal to 64.5 centimeters. On an exam, I would be sure to put in the problem, please approximate rounding to the nearest tenth. I didn't do that in this example, but on an exam, I will tell you if I want an exact answer or an answer that's approximate. One final example, and this one's sort of different. What angle is subtended by an arc length equal to the circumference of a circle? Well, I'm not given r and I'm not given s, so let's look at this instead in general. If I have a circle, if I wanted to look at an arc length equal to the entire circumference, well, then that would just be the circumference of the circle, and we've learned those formulas. The circumference of the circle is just equal to pi d. 
since my formula I'm going to be using has r in it, I think I'll use the form of the formula c is equal to 2 pi r. Remember the radius times 2 is just equal to the diameter. If I take that and put it into my formula, realizing that my arc length, s, really is the circumference of the circle, and putting in my circumference is equal to 2 pi r, I can see that my radius will reduce out of the numerator and the denominator, and I'll find that central angle is equal to 2 pi. Well, that's pretty good, because if I remember, I've been saying a complete rotation that is all the way around a circle is equal to 2 pi. That is, a complete rotation is equal to 2 pi. And there we have arc length. We've talked about what arc length is, as well as how to find it using a formula.